the department of water resources river development and ganga rejuvenation ministry of jal shakti has the overall responsibility of implementing atal bhujal yojana in the country in this presentation we will look at the roles and responsibilities of all stakeholders involved in the implementation of the program at the national state district and gram panchayat levels at the center under the department of water resources the national program management unit npmu shall be established which will be responsible for coordinating and facilitating the program implementation in the selected states also at the central level the third party government verification agency tpgva shall be hired to verify the achievement of predefined targets so as to assess the performance of implementing agencies which then will lead to the payment of incentives to them at the state level the state government will identify a nodal agency called the program implementation agency pia which shall oversee the implementation of the scheme in the state within the pia a dedicated unit called the state program management unit spmu will be established to supervise and manage the program implementation on a day to day basis in the districts identified for program implementation the district program management unit will be constituted by the state to support the state and the gram panchayats in executing activities under atal bhujal yojana in the field the district implementation partners consisting of ngos and cbos hired by the spmu shall facilitate handholding of the gram panchayats in various aspects of the scheme like preparation of water budgets and water security plans by training and mobilizing the community moving on to the institutional arrangements at the center the national interdepartmental steering committee is the apex body that will manage the implementation of atal bhujal yojana through the npmu it will also supervise and support the states functioning via reporting mechanisms with spmu spmu in turn will look after the implementation of the scheme in the selected districts through the dpmu the gram panchayats ably supported by the dpmu form the last tier of administration and act as a critical link between the community and the administration the handholding support provided by the ngos to all community based organizations and the villagers for successfully implementing the interventions is required at this stage for reporting of outcomes the hierarchy of gram panchayats reporting to the states and the states reporting to the center will be followed the technical support provided by the central groundwater board will be rendered primarily at the national state and district levels funds from the world bank will be disbursed at the national level which will then subsequently go to the states districts and the gram panchayats delving deeper into the functions of stakeholders at the national level it can be noted that the department of water resources river development and ganga rejuvenation will look after the overall implementation of the scheme through activities like program management and institutional arrangements procurements approvals financial management monitoring and evaluation training and capacity building activities coordination with line ministries state nodal agencies and the funding agencies the steering committee will have representation from all departments and hence will be responsible for securing necessary approvals via interministerial coordination guiding and reviewing the program implementation status and assess impacts on groundwater under this committee the npmu is established and mandated to ensure the day to day coordination of activities disbursement of allocated funds and offer technical support to states through hired experts technical experts and third party government verification agency will be hired to confirm adequacy of baseline data in mis 
verify achievements against the DLIs for each implementation agency and to release the verification reports for the disbursement of funds. The National Interdepartmental Steering Committee will be chaired by the Secretary of the Department of Water Resources, River Development and Ganga Rejuvenation. The additional secretary, joint secretary and financial advisor of this department followed by the secretaries or the representatives of the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, the Department of Land Resources, the Department of Rural Development, the Panchayati Raj Department, the Department of Drinking Water and Sanitation, the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy and the Ministry of Power will act as the members of the committee. Other members include Advisor Water Resources of Niti Aayog, the Principal Secretaries of the seven participating states and the Chairman of the Central Water Commission and the Central Groundwater Board. For all the participating states, an interdepartmental steering committee constituted at the state level will mainly work towards reviewing and approving the state action plan and annual implementation plans, ensuring interdepartmental coordination for clearances and approvals, ensuring convergence of funds from various schemes, approving annual budgets, reviewing progress reports and approving the HR requirements for implementing the program. This committee will oversee the functioning of the Program Implementing Agency, PIA, whose scope of work involves setting up SPMU and DPMU, recruiting DIPs to train and assist Gram Panchayats in program implementation, consolidating district-level water security plans and accordingly preparing the state-level action plans. The SPMU set up within the PIA is responsible for procuring tools for monitoring at the Gram Panchayat level, aggregating district level plans and submitting them to NPMU, operating and maintaining program MIS with regular inputs, preparing communication and capacity building work plans, hiring experts for SPMU and DPMU, opening dedicated bank accounts and releasing the payments on time. The SPMU under PIA will be composed of the Commissioner, Chief Engineer, Technical Officers, Accountant, Groundwater Expert, Procurement Specialist, IT Experts, Education and Communication Experts, Environmental Experts, Social Development Experts and Data Entry Operators hired on contractual basis or on deputation. At the district level, the DPMU is supposed to work on four aspects. Under the program management aspect, activities like reviewing and consolidating water security plans and annual work plans submitted by Gram Panchayats, facilitating recruitment of persons or agencies by hand holding of Gram Panchayats in program implementation, ensuring convergence of funds from different sources will be undertaken. Activities like including annual procurement plans in the annual work plans, feeding procurement data into MIS, ensuring adequate staffing and their capacity building and ensuring compliance with the guidelines comes under the procurement aspect. Under the function of financials and reporting, activities like opening and maintaining bank accounts for all transactions with contractors and gram panchayats submitting monthly expenditure statements to PIA, preparing and submitting implementation progress reports to PIA are supposed to be done. Lastly, under the institutional strengthening aspect, activities like training and orientation of DPMU staff and data collectors, enhancing skills of functionaries on all aspects of the program, building capacities of community and volunteers for behavioral change and conducting experience sharing workshops for learning will be done. The DPMU will be composed of the district collector or Zilla Parishad CEO, technical officers, nodal officers from PIA, communication and training experts and the data entry operators employed on deputation or on contractual basis.
the gram panchayat is the last and the most important tier for the implementation of atal bhujal yojana with the support of partner ngos the gram panchayat functionaries are supposed to work on awareness creation and sensitization of local communities towards groundwater issues ensure adequate participation of women in all committees and activities convene gram sabhas for passing resolutions maintain separate cash book and accounts for atal jal yojana and record citizens feedback and grievances the constituted water management committees or village water and sanitation committees are required to support gram panchayats to create water security plans and water budgets bring traditional knowledge into planning coordinate with the block and district for regular assistance and help in identifying the supply side and demand side interventions that will be implemented the gram panchayat volunteers like bhujal jankars and bhujal pracharaks will be asked to collect baseline data on ground water and rainfall based on the standard formats provided and assist dips and other support agencies in carrying out the community mobilization work The Central Ground Water Board will provide technical support to all stakeholders for effective implementation of Atal Bhujal Yojana. At the national level, the board will render technical support to NPMU for coordination of different activities under the scheme. Training will also be provided to all the stakeholders of the scheme using the facilities available with the board. At the state level the regional directors of the board shall be members of the state interdepartmental steering committees at this stage as well the board will offer technical support to spmu and dpmu including sharing data from the national program on aquifer mapping and management the board also has to make sure to include the component of atal bhujal yojana in its existing awareness creation and capacity building exercises at different administrative levels